So the question with running, um, adding and running into your cycling routine, it's kind of a tricky one because it really depends on if you are already a runner. Um, running is pretty taxing to your body. So um, what usually happens is your body, um, if you're new to running, it has to undergo that period of time where you are, um, your muscles and tendons and ligaments are um, changing and, and adapting to those ground reaction forces that need to happen when your body is hitting the ground um, with every step that you take when you're running. Um, so it's much different than cycling. So for people who are not currently running, um, it can leave you really sore. It can leave um, your, your muscles feeling pretty sore for the next day or two. Um, so that being said, if you're not new to running, um, yeah, you know, your body may be already more adapted to it if you're like a triathlete um, or if you already run, um, you know, on your off days when you're not cycling, great. Um, it's, it's a great bang for your buck workout. You're going to burn a lot of calories. There's a good um, afterburn effect, um, your metabolism, and um, it's quick and it's easy. So it really depends on what your background is with running. Um, but yeah, if you if you already are running um, and you're just looking to add in, you know, a quick little workout to get, you know, um, to get your body moving, then, you know, doing it on a day, um, you know, not before a hard interval workout, for example, would be a good idea. Or doing it on one of your active recovery days would be great. Or doing it when you know you don't have a race coming up. Um, that's usually something that I'll tell my clients. Um, or depending on the season that you're in, if this is more just base fitness, then sure, add it in.